I always bring it up just like, you know, nonchalantly. Oh, I was diving with piranhas this morning. <laughs> Makes me sound a lot cooler. <laughs> a lot of people want them as pets because they do think they're going to be like this, these super aggressive, um, like skeletonize a cow in 30 seconds. But really, they're not like that at all. They are very shy. And the schooling behavior, I mean, there's some like pack hunting mentality, but it's more of a safeties and numbers thing. So the more fish you have, the more eyes you have, the more buddies you have around that can keep an eye out for predators. I think I got my first aquarium when I was 14, so that was 15 years ago now, and it kind of just escalated and <laughs> at the aquarium. I am an aquarium biologist, uh, focusing primarily on freshwater species. Knowing animals and being able to give them what they need is the majority of our job. Like a lot of our biologists here, you can come, like look at an exhibit and be like, that one's not feeling well. <laughs> and you can like tell almost instantly. One thing I like about freshwater is there's so many species and they're all so distinct. Several animals in our collection are actually endangered. And they are just found in like 3% of the world's water. We have venomous fish, poisonous fish, fish with really sharp teeth, fish with crushing molar-like teeth. Like it, it's very much an arms race in the Amazon alone. I mean, I always have a soft spot for piranhas. They're all about, I think, like, like that big now when I raise them. We raise them from like that. So it, you, like seeing that growth, it is like, like kids almost. Yeah. It's weird to think about when it's a fish. People don't have that emotional connection to fish. Really, you can't touch them, and the only time you can interact with them is during feeds. But during free dives, see how smoothly they'll swim through the water, and they'll come over and check you out because they're very curious. So it's, it's cool to be in their world. Species Survival Program is a program that accredited zoos and aquariums. They all work together to manage the population of a species that is at risk or endangered. We do have a baby stingray that was born earlier this year. We call that one Cookie because she kind of looks like a, a dark chocolate cookie with like white chocolate chips. We've never had that species born here, so we want to be able to track her growth so we know what's normal for that species. Piku, he's a, <laughs> I think he's a, everyone's favorite turtle here at least. Pignose turtles are found in the Fly River in uh, Papua New Guinea and they do have like a, a pig nose that they use as a snorkel so they'll come to the surface, take a breath, just stick their nose out and that's just so they don't like advertise their whereabouts for predators. I enjoy my day like tremendously. I didn't think I'd be like wading in water with electric eels when I was a kid but <laughs> that happens every once in a while now. <laughs> Like, we're, we're lucky to do what we do here. So you like collecting teeth? <laughs> you say it like that, it makes me seem like this weird guy. <laughs>